In order to meet customers' diverse requirements, Sure Electronics has released a battery charging and protection board, BCPB series, including one series 26650 lithium battery charging board, BCPB1, three series 18650 lithium battery charging board, BCPB2, five series 18650 lithium battery charging board, BCPB3, and five series 26650 lithium battery charging board, BCPB4. S means in series. For example, 3S means three batteries in series. BCPB1 is a half palm size battery charging board designed for one series 26650 lithium battery with integrated 5 volt boost circuit. It can be used as a power bank for mobile phones and Raspberry Pi. BCPB2 is developed as a battery charging balance and protection board for three pieces 18650 lithium batteries in series which is equipped with MPPT charging ICs and supports 15 to 24 volt charging voltage. If customers want a larger capacity, BCPB3 and BCPB4 are the recommended choice. BCPB3 is designed for 5 series 18650 lithium batteries, which will be launched soon. Please stay tuned. BCPB4 is a 5 series 26650 lithium battery charging board, supporting as wide a charging voltage range as 5 to 24 volts, and the hybrid charging sources is one of the highlights of this board. As for this, please take reference to the video. 5S26650 lithium battery board that supports hybrid charging sources, the link of which has been uploaded in the introduction. Please kindly note that BCBP B3 and BCP B4 are not equipped with MPPT function. BCP B series is equipped with full protection circuit to ensure it has high reliability. The balance and protection circuit will constantly monitor each cell's voltage, the current of charging or discharging, and the temperature of the environment to provide overcharge, over discharge, output overcurrent, short circuit, charge overcurrent and over temperature protections, etc. Customer questions. About a month ago we received a review from our BCPB4 5 Series 26650 lithium battery charging board asking whether Wondom BCPB4 can be used to charge lead acid batteries. Since Wondom BCPB series is designed for lithium batteries, they cannot be used to charge lead acid batteries directly, but it can be achieved with some modifications. In this video, we will demonstrate charging. Before that, let's see the charging and discharging characteristics of lead acid batteries. The battery charge and discharge current is generally indicated by C and the actual value of C is related to the battery capacity. Discharging characteristics. Lead acid batteries can discharge with different currents and it is suggested they do not operate at 6 CA or more current continuously. As we can see from the graph, the higher the discharging current is, the shorter the discharge time will be. This is because there is an internal resistance. Suppose the internal resistance is R and the load is R and the discharging current is I. The heat dissipated in the internal resistance P can be calculated with the equation number two. According to the equation number one, the larger the discharging current is, the lower R plus R is and the more the heat dissipated. Therefore, the discharge time will be shorter. Charging characteristics. Charging methods have a big influence in the battery's life and performance. There are four charging methods for sealed lead acid batteries. Number one, constant current charging. Number two, constant voltage charging. Number three, taper current charging. And four, two-step constant voltage charging. 
Initial charging current should be set at less than 0.25 CA Wandom BC PB Series Employs two-step charging method. Firstly, the batteries will be charged in constant current and the voltage will begin to rise. When the voltage rises to a value, the voltage will become constant and the current will decline. Notice, keep the lead acid batteries fully charged when not in use for a long period of time. This keeps them in good condition for longer service time. The ambient temperature. The ambient temperature has a large influence on the battery. Therefore, the battery is generally charged in the range of 5 degrees centigrade to 35 degrees centigrade. Otherwise, it will greatly reduce the battery capacity and shorten the battery life. Besides, the deeper the battery is discharged, the fewer times the battery can be recharged. So in order to extend battery life, pay attention to avoid deep discharge during use. Why the Wandom BC PB series cannot charge the lead acid batteries directly? Wandom BC PB series is designed with detection and protection circuits. This circuit is not only responsible for regulating the voltage of the total circuit, but also regulating the voltage at both poles of each battery, and the lead acid battery cannot be segmented. When no battery is detected, the BCPB will automatically shut down. Actual demonstration of BCPB2 charging a lead acid battery. With some modifications, BCPB series is fully capable of charging lead acid batteries. In this video, we will use our modified BCPB2 3 Series 18650 Lithium Battery Charging and Protection Board as an example to charge lead acid batteries. As we can see, the modified BCPB2 is now charging the lead acid battery, 4,500 milliamps, 12 volt. The charging voltage is about 12.6 volts, and the charging current is about 1.15 amps. It took about three hours to charge the battery fully. We will release a battery charging board that can charge lead acid batteries directly in the near future. But for now, if you have any needs, please contact us at store at sureelectronics.com 